Hello, this is Magnus again. I am now in Oslo, back in Norway. I, uh, I'm now go going to play a game uh, to uh, test out um, the um, Magnometer, uh, the new uh, feature of the app that uh, shows, um, shows you how you're doing um, the evaluation. Um, I have to say this is the first time I'm gonna test it, but ha it has been tested uh, before, uh, so don't be worried. So I'm gonna um, play um, against um, a younger version of myself, uh, Magnus Nine, both because um, that is very convenient for me, and because um, there will be uh, lots of jumps in evaluation. So probably anyway. So, um, you will see how uh, the magnometer works. So, I'm white, that was lucky. Unleash the magnometer. And we just unleash the magnometer. So far, both sides have made normal moves. Looks like we're gonna play... Uh, we're gonna unleash the magnometer. See, I haven't done this before. Upgrade now. So, so far it's showing all equal, which is not too surprising since we're in a theoretical position here. Wow, I really played like this when I was nine, huh? I did not know that. So, this is a theoretical line. I knew quite a lot of theoretical lines when I was nine years old, but not this one. So for all of the those of my colleagues out there watching the game, I, I don't really want to show you all of my prep in this line. So fortunately, minus nine played something else, so I don't have to do that. Ha! So now minus nine is doing something really risky, grabbing a pawn without any development. And it's up to me to try and punish him. So it's not immediately obvious to me how I'm going to do that. Maybe minus nine just came up with a more or less brilliant novelty. So, well, now I think minus 9 is going a step too far. So, uh, taking the pawn, now I can take it back, but then there will be two minor pieces uh, and two pawns against the rook, which is usually a more or less equal trade, but here my pieces are active and it's a middle game, so it will be favorable for me. I think if I insert a queen check instead, I will be a whole piece up. I re really hope I'm right. So now I'm going to exchange. Now I'm not going to take his knight, but I'm going to take his bishop first. And then his knight. So he moves his knight away. Now I think I'm going to have some fun and insert a little check right there. It seems that now minus nine will not only have problems with being a piece down, but he will also come under an attack. So now if he takes with a rook, he will be mated. So this was not a real sacrifice. Um, now let's let's continue in uh, in gambit style. On the other hand, let's not. Just gonna take it easy, consolidate with a piece up. So now I'm winning back one of the pawns I was down. And now probably. Uh, 
one more. Now let's see. Um, I think there might be. No. Huh. Thought I might be able to win a rook, but unfortunately he can uh, put the rook in between there. So I'm just gonna play something simple instead. But now, on the other hand, I think I think I miscalculated. So now I'll have to, instead of winning brilliantly, I will have to go for the boring option, exchange all the pieces, and hopefully I will be able to show some of you how to checkmate with a queen and and a bishop because when you're playing against Magnus at a lower level then um, um, then uh, it's sometimes not so difficult to capture all of his pieces but giving checkmate is not always that easy so you need to know some of the techniques. You can see the arrow has been firmly on my side for a while and now it's all over there um, in the in the winning area. So minus nine stops one of my pawns but uh, fortunately I have not one but two others. Now he can't make up his mind which pawn to stop so instead he uh, goes for the other but now I already have a new queen. So now I'm going to uh, to checkmate very soon and uh, this is a um, good way to uh, to check to checkmate um, a lone black king now if i had um you know what just for for fun uh, i think i will um give up all of my uh, pieces except the king and the queen just to show you quickly how you can checkmate um the um, the black king when it's trapped uh, in the corner. So now that was cheeky. He's uh, forcing me to. Um, he's forcing me to do something else because now, if I uh, were to queen the pawn, then it will be stalemate. So I am not very interested in that, so let's give up the other queen first. So now driving the king towards the corner. Now we have the same position as before, but but I've given up all of my pieces except the king and the queen. Now the king is trapped uh, to uh, two squares in the corner. And uh, the only thing I need to do is bring the king over and checkmate. But it's important not to take away all the squares from the king until you give a check, because then it will be stalemate. So I'm just bringing the king over. And now that the king is here, it's checkmate. Okay?